This morning, a trailblazing female high school athlete is celebrating her remarkable performance. Ronna Heaton made history this weekend wrestling boys at the South Dakota State Tournament. CBS ends. Elaine Kahano is here with a story you'll see only on CBS This Morning. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. Ronna Heaton first took up wrestling in grade school. While her success on the mat has grown over the years, she still faces resistance as a young woman competing in the traditionally male sport. As the only girl at a tournament dominated by boys, 15-year-old Rana Heaton worries about her hair. I don't like it all over the place. But not because she's overly self-conscious. Rana is a wrestler. Wrestlers and referees, we are ready to begin wrestling at this time. It's a sport the high school sophomore has devoted herself to since the third grade. So even though she's the first female to ever participate in South Dakota's state wrestling tournament, She's treating it like any other competition. I've already like been in the crowd like this before, and it feels like any other tournament or match. I'm out there and I'm trying to work hard and grind it out and beat them. Rana's had plenty of success in the sport she loves. She even traveled to Sweden as part of an Olympic wrestling development team. This year, almost 10,000 female wrestlers will compete at the high school level across the country. A few states have enough competitors to warrant all-girl leagues, but not South Dakota. Title IX gives young women the right to grapple with the boys, but not everyone's on board with the idea. Girls don't wrestle. Good for a girl. In high school, several boys forfeited matches rather than compete against her. Keep that leg back. Tim Heaton is Rana's dad. Most of the boys that forfeited and didn't wrestle her were boys that were pretty confident that they were going to lose to her and didn't want to get beat by a girl. Those boys didn't make it to state. Jared Rubidoux is also wrestling at the state championships and welcomes the competition. I have never wrestled a female and I have nothing against it. If they want to join the sport, they can. He had early doubts about Rana, but now sees her as just another contender. She goes out there and wrestles like any other competitor, which I think that gives her the edge on a lot of the other kids. I'm proud of her. She, she is doing a hell of a job. Scott Miller is Rana's coach. She is slowly but surely turning into one of our better wrestlers. And, um, you know, a lot of people are, are watching her and realizing that it's not a girl issue, it's a wrestler issue. And she is a, a very good wrestler. Her talent on the mat led to a seventh place finish at the South Dakota State Championship this weekend. She's now the first female in the state to accomplish that feat. Rana knows she'll continue to be met with complaints from the opposition about a girl competing in a male-dominated sport. I don't really think much of it because I'm still going to wrestle. You <laughs> can't stop me. Several of Rana's state competitors declined our request for an interview. <laughs> Rana is hoping to someday compete at the international level. She's already getting interest from many colleges that offer women's wrestling programs. That's great. That's great. Yeah. But and her competitors welcomed it? Well, not everyone at first, but once she gets out there, they see that she is equally qualified it's to be out wrestling, there. It's about wrestling, not gender. Absolutely. Yeah, I love in the piece they said, not a girl issue, it's a wrestler it's issue, a wrestling, which is what right, Charlie yeah. just said. And her competitors said she's doing a hell of a job. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And her dad in the state. I loved her yeah. dad. Yeah, yeah, I love her dad. Yeah. Thank so you, Elaine. Great